man. One of my favorite brands looks like it's going through a tough time and I'm really pissed off because they were pretty decent. It's founded by one of my favorite skaters of all time, somebody that I basically fell in love with when I first started getting into skateboarding and somebody who I kind of tried to mimic the style of when I was skating myself. Um, but it looks like it might be over for fucking awesome. It looks like it might be over. I call this the... How, how do you pronounce that brand's name? Is it Aries or Arise? Whatever, let's call it Aries. It's the Ariesification or Arise, yeah? Aries, yeah. Let's say it's the Ariesification or fucking awesome has taken place for their spring 2022 collection because this effectively just looks like what they make, like this kind of like dusty, hipster, hot art ho kind of chic thing. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look great. Or maybe it's more of a pivot into the kind of weirdo avant-garde type style of dressing that you know our legacy do and stuff but it's still not a great image it's, it's still a bad copy or a bad imitation of what aries does and of what our legacy does in some way shape or form um and i much prefer the aesthetic that fucking awesome were doing beforehand what jason deal's vision of it was before because it was stuff that you could imagine him wearing <coughs> stuff that basically had an edge to it but wasn't too crazy stuff that was practical but wasn't too boring just just cool clothes but now it's descended into kind of try hard fingernail polish wearing dudes with pearls who skate in loafers who roll their cigarettes up in front of stores and you know have beanies on top of their hats and stuff and have ironic flipping simpson tattoos and whatnot nah man this is not my vibe it's just, and there's none of those brands out there <clears throat> sorry Hey fever, it's not a bad thing, but there's just enough of those brands out there. We don't need more. Do you know what I mean? That's why fucking awesome was great to begin with. But this neon suit isn't too bad. Don't get me wrong. But again, do we need a weekday type denim suit in lime green done by fucking awesome, or can we just leave this to weekday and stuff? Probably can. That cardigan's decent, but again, pretty lazy. Got the fucking awesome monogram written all over it. A cardigan again you know we're still doing cardigans in 2022 we're not going to leave those anytime soon are we is the cardigan a new ma1 because that's that's what happens in every season a, a new every company's got a, their in rendition of an ma1 bomber jacket they can't let those things go maybe this is the same rendition of it as well um i'm tired of it uh, another cardigan another color should you ever have t the same item in different colors in the same lookbook you shouldn't really should you it maybe shows the lack of options in the line maybe I don't know. Maybe that's me. <clears throat> one's open, one's closed, one's a woman, one's a guy. But yeah, there's a kind of... Um, I do like what they do here. This is something that's interesting because I think in every collection so far that I've seen or that keep has an eye on when it comes to fucking awesome, they've always got a really interesting iteration or kind of version of a coach jacket. And I think this is the same here. This It's not a coach jacket. It's got a zip on it. Maybe it's a bit different. Technically, a coach jacket has buttons on it, right? on the shoe but anyway let's say it's a coach jacket the last one they did was like a crushed sort of like metallic sort of thing and now they've got this it looks like a pvc type style jacket it looks pretty decent i'm not gonna lie that's pretty nice i'd wear the hell like that um another, <clears throat> another jean jacket shirt thing with a print on the inside i'm assuming with some original um jason deal artwork the model hasn't hasn't even flipping you know cream these lips or anything I just come on man this is looking mad dusty i'm not gonna lie bro i'm not gonna lie the pants are all right the shoes are they collaboration or they're just like her own shoes i don't know <clears throat> let's continue yeah that's the shirt again on the inside out yeah some cool artwork on it but again is it anything to write home about probably not there's a crochet kind of shirty blousy thing there giving me bianca chandon vibes this sort of overshirt flannel thing is really nice i gotta be honest with this kind of utility pockets all over the front of it it looks pretty decent especially with the light denim the fucking awesome half zip with the with the strings on the hood Ugh, i'm not sure about that at all that looks really bad man yeah this is even Again, because I think when I talk about Aries, Ariesification of this brand, because Aries for me is always very hot and cold. They'll have, for every one look, they'll have seven bad ones. You know what I mean? And it looks like stuff that doesn't look good on its own. It looks like stuff that only looks good in combination. So, I don't know, man. Comparing what a fucking awesome are offering here compared to like a Pop Trading Co., the levels are just another level, in it? This is just not that great. I have to be honest. Some of the jumpers and 
sweatshirts are pretty decent don't get me wrong uh it's, but yeah man it's just i don't know what happened man what's jason deal doing some of these shirts are okay the short sleeve again but this is not what you come for fucking awesome too this is not what you come too fucking awesome for in my opinion yeah this lookbook is terrible i'm not gonna lie man this might be one of the worst fucking awesome collections i've ever seen um let's just go back in the history books and see some of the previous ones i'm not chatting shit but i'm pretty sure this is one of the worst ones i've ever seen maybe he's maybe he's changed a designer that he's working with maybe he's doing it all on his own i'm not too sure but like you know look just look at that cardigan from before that's that sold out in an instant right the psychedelic one from like december last year compared to what i just saw you do before terrible um does that store look at like somewhere that will sell those things no uh drop two even this drop wasn't my favorite but there was some decent stuff in there we'll check that out and what was that 420 yeah the same one 42021 we'll check that one out uh collaborations again let's go to the next page i want to see a spring one and see if i'm not bugging out see if i'm not really changing shit. it's just not my eyes let's see the next collection here come on load 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 <laughs> here too yeah look at this this is from drop two or let's go to the main drop this one right so this is um for winter 2021 2021 yep with um what's his face jason dill uh modeling most of the bits and it looks dramatically better or maybe it's because it's outside and the photography is better i'm not too sure but even the short sleeves look better the pants look better baseball shirts the sweats look better better bomber jacket like everything here is much better than what i just saw and it's not even there's not even much range it's still like one of, again that's the crushed sort of like metallic coach jacket thing they had going on there that was i regret not being able to purchase man i should have copped that when it came out but yeah it's not it's much better than what we're seeing in it like look at that stuff that lime a suit that i guess he keeps doing again and again but this is a far better iteration of it than the other thing that we saw uh, hopefully it's not the same thing but yeah look it's much better much much better i don't know what's happened man yeah this is from spring summer 20 let's see what this is i'm saying oh man what's happened to jason dill and fucking awesome it's really gone to shit yeah this is from spring summer 20 collection right courtesy of hypebeast that i'm showing here on screen let's see if i can get this zoomed up come on hurry up my computer's running like an absolute snail but yeah loading again jason does modeling you know he's wearing a fucking awesome um jacket with i guess some of his original artwork with faces cut up and stuff like you know he used to do with some black trousers and some loafers looking cool like great stuff you know great imagery like everything looks awesome even the art around it looks much better like it's giving really undercover vibes in terms of the lookbook but it looks far better than the stuff that we saw Maybe not all of it is fucking awesome because I saw a kid with, fuck, with cowboy boots on there. I'm pretty sure that's not part of it. But yeah, we're not seeing a lot of clothes here. This little book is mostly about art. But yeah, loads of good, much better stuff here already than what we saw previously in other collections. So I don't know what's going on, man. Hopefully this isn't a mark of the future to come because that collection was absolutely garbage in my opinion. But, you know, hopefully he fixes up and gets things back to where they should be because i still think it's a pretty decent brand in my opinion but that new collection just isn't it in my opinion it's not it it's not it at all